talk about um chicken farming and for me at Mbuvi farm what i have done or what i've realized that i need to do is to start with the local uh, breeds so i've chosen um local breed of um, this other um, uh, layers because my main aim was to keep um, uh, chicken for eggs but before I get to the eggs part I want to learn about just the local breeds how am I going to manage my breeds uh, in terms of feeds in terms of diseases and as I learn that then I can venture in into a uh, big production of um, egg uh, egg production and layers. Uh, this is our dog. <laughs> Don't mind about them. I'll give you a story or I'll show you more about these dogs. They are, I think they are four. And I think the dogs have a better housing than the chicken, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, there's someone who takes care of the dogs and the dogs are very clean. Back to our chicken. So this is our local breed, or we call it Kenyeji uh, in our language. And it's the breed that is uh, very local. Uh, it's free range. Uh, you don't need to, to feed them in a house or to put them in cages. They look for the feeds for themselves. And I've realized that uh, with good management, this chicken can give you good money uh, a well-grown chicken uh, or cock will fetch you around ten dollars uh, into the market and that is after six months or eight months of feeding so it's it's a very good breed and when it comes to chicken farming we look at or we are looking at um, just the chicken that will have good uh, disease control and this is just me in the morning uh, picking the eggs up and uh, like a morning routine just having the eggs collection and all that when it comes to feeds and when it comes to chicken you have to look at the quality breeds proper housing your feeds you need to feed your chicken right from the beginning clean water supply, health monitoring, and health monitoring in chicken is very crucial. If you miss out on health monitoring, you will be at a very big risk. At Movie Farm, we are looking at creating the right housing. Uh, this is just something that I saw that I would like to venture in, whereby you, the, the chicken can run through a trough end uh, and just feed inside the garden uh something that will come up in in our next video if you're new to the um, to movie farm i know we've taken quite a long time to update our videos but we are back like we never uh, left this is just me showing you what the projects are we are handling currently so what are some of those questions that you have on chicken farming what are some of those things that you want to learn on uh, egg production how to take care of your birds and all that put that onto uh, the comment section and I will be able to get back to you and just tell you what you are doing and able to uh, like we learn together at movie family we, we will learn together when I do a project we will learn the wrongs the, the rights and everything in between and that's what uh, the YouTube channel is all about and therefore if you if you're doing your chicken farm or if you want to venture into chicken farming, there are 10 crucial um, things that you need to, to take care of. And let me just list them uh, on top of my head. You have your quality breed. So make sure that you're choosing the correct breed. You need proper housing. We, we are still not there at Mbuvi Farm on proper housing. And I'm going to bring for you some chicken coop uh, structures that I've seen on social media. And we, we, are, we are going to just... Uh, look into that and see what what we can do proper and nutrition feeds for your birds if you want your birds to give you back and to give you the right uh, egg production you need to look at feeding clean water supply ensure that the chickens have access to clean water and fresh water at all times health monitoring ensure that you're monitoring your birds keenly and if you see a bird that is um sick you need to remove it from the rest of the birds and monitor it well 
you're looking at egg production and egg handling, uh, collecting your eggs on a daily basis and making sure that you're storing your eggs properly and on at the right way. Waste management, that is cleaning the coop, ensuring that uh, the place is clean, everything is clean. And by the way, I noticed that uh, when I add charcoal, and we're going to talk about charcoal in our other videos, when I add charcoal to my bird's um, housing, it's taking away the smell, the ammonia smell. And also my birds are very healthy when I feed them. So you take the charcoal and you crush it. And that one makes it very, uh, your birds uh, are able to drink the water and it protects them from diseases. Red cord keeping is very crucial and essential. If you're not keeping good records, you will not know how many chicks, which bird is the best layer, which chicks are, which bird is um, brooding right now. How many chicks do you have so far? So this is, those are some of the things that you need to take care of when you're doing record keeping. And then the Last and foremost is about continuous learning. If you're not learning with me, I do not know how you're how you're venturing into your farm into your chicken farming. Chicken farming is about learning. We learn every day. Diseases come. We treat them. We know the right way and uh, how to how to do it. So make sure that you are looking into your to learning. Uh, about your birds, learning and uh, ensuring you know each and every bird that you have. So those are the like the ten key ones, but I will give you my topmost three. Topmost is about your breed, knowing your breed. The other, um, the other essential thing is about housing. Make sure that you have a very good constructed chicken coop that provides adequate space, has ventilation, and also is prevent a uh, prevention from uh, predators. And the other one is breeding feeds and your chicken house. If you get those three, then you will we will learn about the rest in the course of. Uh, keeping our buds but uh, i would like to know if you're new to the channel pl please subscribe uh, share us out like uh, this video and i would like to bring you more about chicken farming and i'm going to do that in the course of um, a few weeks so if you're new to the channel thank you so much for tuning in to movie farm movie farm is a place where you'll get um farming videos at least three times in a week we are going to do live videos uh, almost every day and we'll also have interactions and uh, your comments into the uh, me looking into your comments and checking uh, and seeing how i can assist you movie farm is a place where we uh, have sustainable um, farming so we are going to keep our birds. We are going to do big, big, uh, big keeping, poultry keeping. We are going to grow our own crops, which are grown organically. And it's a place where you're going to learn about uh, farming projects. Let me know what you want to learn from us uh, in the coming weeks into the comment session. And we appreciate you and we love you. And thank you for tuning in. I know my mind was all <laughs> about, but I will give you this right up about chicken farming onto the description. Uh, I may not have captured it, it well uh, on my voiceover, but uh, just check on the description comment. You're going to see the same. And we keep growing. And just let me know, what is that thing that you want to learn about uh, either chicken farming or any other uh, farming venture. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being in our community. And I hope to bring you more of this. I'm going to do a good video on this. Thank you and bye-bye.